Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here with a quick tutorial on wrapping your album spine or your album cover. Many of you have concerns with the your spine cracking, pattern paper cracking in the spine. I've developed a technique where I will bet money that your spine will not crack with this technique. All right, so you know when you bet, you take a gamble, right? So everything's always a gamble. You can't, I cannot guarantee it, but I'm pretty confident that you're going to be happy with the result, and um, I think you're going to adapt this method going forward. So if you love it, use it. If you don't, obviously you craft however you like. But I've been doing this for a while, and it works, guys. I've been doing it for a long time. I do it every time I I wrap an album. But I don't really do it here on YouTube or uh, just a focus video on the spine. So I'm going to do this here and let's get to it. So there's all different ways to decorate your album cover. I kept mine super simple. If I'll talk about this album in a little bit, I'll talk about the paper in a little bit. Uh, so stay tuned for those details. So typically when you wrap, when you're covering an album, you have a front cover a back cover and your spine piece. Sometimes we do three pieces of paper to do the front, the spine, and the back. Many of you shy away from the wrap because the spine cracks. But again, let's get to it, guys. So I've got, I'm not going to talk about measurements here. What you want to focus on is the technique. Okay, so I've got my front cover done. I've got my back cover done, which I actually do, at, I put it at the end. And I've got some, what I call bridge pieces, okay, to do something like this when I have multiple pattern papers to break it up and to create a really nice look. So what's important here is your spine piece or the paper that you choose for your spine. You're gonna, you're gonna measure from uh, wherever you want it to be. I, typ I typically like an inch here, okay, from, I take an inch from the front cover of my album for my spine wrap. That's typically my rule of thumb. I've got a little more than an inch here, but I'm okay with that. But again, the rule of thumb, if you need a measurement, is an inch, okay? Uh, so you're gonna measure your inch, measure your spine, inch again, and that is, and add a quarter of an inch, and that is your album spine wrap. Okay, and it's typically the height of your album, whatever you're cutting that piece to. So I've got my piece. Rule number one, you're going to use tape, double-sided tape, okay? You want end-to-end -end coverage of tape. However, big however, the fur on the front and the back, you want several strips of tape. Like here, you'll see when I rip it off, I got half inch, half inch, half inch, and then I got a big wide two and a half inch piece, and then half inch, half inch, half inch. If you're using a roll of tape that's really wide, make sure that you end it and begin it, or begin it and end it with uh, half inch, quarter inch strips of tape, and I'll explain to you why, all right? Glue is not an option for this method. All right. Sorry, not an option for this method. Double sided tape. All right. So let me show you tape placement here. We're going to start off with the front. All right. So make sure you've got, you know what the front is. And here's my front on this side. Notice I have a couple strips of tape. You can do two, three is fine, more than fine. All right. And then you want to remove the spine area. Okay. Don't remove the tape from the back. All right. So we've got the first three strips and then the spine area. You can do two strips and then the spine area, whatever you want. So the key is to line it up with your, with the front cover paper, right, stick it right there. Notice I haven't wrapped my paper around. Okay. So you're going to do that. Look at my album cover. You're going to lift ever so slightly. See that right there? Don't wrap it with the album in the closed position. You want the album open, semi-engaged. Uh, you want that cover to be semi-folded or engaged, like I like to say. Uh, not, not, don't open it all the way. Don't close it all the way. You just want that slight opening right there. Okay, you see that little bend we got going on there? That's important, you need that. That is what's gonna reduce the likelihood of your album 
of your paper cracking in the spine. So once you have that, okay, you're going to make sure you don't have any tape overhang. All right, so let me clean, excuse me, clean that up. You're going to stick, 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 stick. Nice and uh, firm, press down firmly, press, 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 press down firmly. Okay, see that? See how my hand is in there and it's still uh, not fully closed, not completely open. All right, see that? And you're going to do the same thing, whoopsie, on the opposite side. You do not want it completely open, nor do you want it completely closed. You see, this would be a mistake if I wrap it this way. You want it slightly open like so. Okay, see that? I didn't remove all the tape, but I've got a little bit. Slightly open like so. Nice and tight around. Stick, 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 stick. Burnish, burnish, burnish. Okay. The reason why I don't attach the back cover is because I don't always get it perfectly aligned, right? I don't always get it perfectly wrapped all the way around. So what I like to do is uh, have the option to attach my back cover once um, I have wrapped my spine so that then I can align it. Okay, once I, if I would have attached this first and I'm committed and it could have been something, you know, a little bit off, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. So now I don't have to worry about that. And I can cut this down a, a little bit and I can just align it like so. All right, so here for your front and back cover, you can absolutely use glue. The only time that glue is not an option is on the spine area. Okay, that is the only time glue is not an option. And my bad, I forgot to ink. Okay, so now I get to slip that in there. And I will have total control of the alignment of my paper because I'm attaching it after the fact. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, there we go. There's that. Now you can remove the tape backing. Mine is just slightly longer on the back than it is on the front. That doesn't bother me. So if you want a perfect inch in the front, inch in the back, make sure you measure exactly. Okay. <coughs> so now I'm remo removing the tape backing and now I can fold it over and I'm fold I'm sticking it, excuse me, with the album completely closed because I already went through the bend, right? We already attach the paper around the bend of the album, right? This is the bend here. So I know I have the right amount of paper in that area. Why do we attach the paper to the spine slightly in a bend? That is so that we give the, we are uh, giving some room here. Okay. We are, let's see, how can I put that in? Um, when you wrap a spine, when you wrap the spine in paper, when the album is completely folded, you, uh, you're leaving too much room here in the spine area. Okay. And I have the burnish here, so don't worry about that. You're leaving, you're giving this, there's too much room here. When you open it, the paper will buckle. Okay. If you attach your paper when your album, when your spine is completely open like this, when your album cover is completely flat, when you close it, there's not enough room in there. Okay, there's not like any elasticity in that paper. You you are just stretching that paper when you close the album, and that is what creates the cracking here in the spine. Okay, when you attach a paper when the album is slightly uh, open or slightly closed, you are creating a bit of room here that will allow the flexibility or the stretching in that spine area. Okay. That's the key. All right. A little bit of room in this area here. So when you close it, your paper does not crack. Now it's important to burnish. Okay. It's absolutely important to burnish once you attach your paper, because when you open your album cover, I don't like that burnishing tool. When you open your album cover, uh, it, you will see, uh, that extra room or space in that spine area. Okay, so just burnish, 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 burnish. It's good to open your album, place your fingers in that gusset, and you'll know exactly what gusset I'm talking about if you make albums with me. 
okay? And again here, burnish, burnish, burnish. And I promise you, you will have a much better result. The, the, the likelihood of the paper cracking in the spine was very, very low, okay? Again, I said I would bet on it. That's how uh, uh, confident I am that you're going to get a good result. So I'm going to go ahead and add my little bridge piece here. You can add that with some glue. Okay, and again, I've done this many times, guys. If you don't follow me in my classes, then you don't know. But uh, I figured I'd pop in here on YouTube and share this on a more focused video as opposed to an entire album class where it takes weeks for me to get through an album. Okay, so here is that piece, and then we're going to add another one on the back, like so. So let's talk about paper. This paper is adorable. This is my newest paper collection. It is called Remember the Magic and I'll show you the paper collection in a second. Okay, on the back of an album cover, I always like to add a little something and I really didn't think about what I was adding. Just something to, uh, to give it some, some interest on the back as well as we do on the front and I like that. So I'm going to add glue. These are the embellishments that come with, the, with, 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 did you hear me correctly? With the paper collection. This is not an additional purchase. Yes, this is the back of my album. And I'm putting this embellishment on the back. Okay, so that is that. And here's my front. I did a bit of a detail cut here. So I cut into the image. I call this a signature cut so that we have the opportunity for to add some goodies. Right here, my little ears, my mouse ears, right? I have those poking out. And there, again, so many choices. You don't know what to pick. can even put this up here if I want to. And let me see. I have, say, cheese there already. You can even add a pocket card if you want to. I have a camera there already, so I'm not going to do that. But again, all sorts of things that you can add to this little opening here, okay, because I cut into the paper. All right, so this particular, so that's how I wrap my album spine. I hope that you can benefit from that. Now let me show you the inside of this album. This album that I that I have here in front of you guys, it's called. Uh, this is part of my Simple Minis series. Simple Minis. Simple Minis. This is volume two. All right, and the paper collection that I'm using or that I use is Remember the Magic. And it is a theme park inspired collection. Super, super fun. Lots of, of fun embellishment, guys. Uh, so here are some of the embellishments, as you can see them right here. I do want to tell you all that it does come to you in this format. All right, you have to cut them out. Okay, there's all sorts of beautiful papers in this collection. You get the embellishments, pocket cards, everything. And I'll go sheet by sheet so I can share with you guys, but I want to show you the album. Simple Minis Volume 2. I will link it down below for you all. So check out how cute. So the whole point uh, for Simple Minis is two things. Albums that you can make quick right that instant gratification and I decorated this entire album in two hours I assembled it in one hour and uh, simple quick and easy but still with the wow factor all right lots of room for photos perfect for that six by six out, uh, paper pack if you love six by six paper packs this will work all right absolutely will work so let me take you through this uh, album. So here we've got a built-in closure and also your embellishments can be your closure if you want it if you want to do so. Here is photos, pocket cards, photos and of course some loose items if you wish to have them in that area right there, okay? And of course your side pocket here, simple minis guys. Here is a large area for photos. I created this little tuck space right here where you can add some goodies. Look at that, how cute, including a photo mat. I will do a final review of this with all the photo mats and I'll give you a photo count. 
but I know you guys are going to ask me, so I figured I'd just show you very quickly. So that opens up here and here. All right, so Simple Minis Volume 2. Volume 1 is already in the shop if you want to take a look at that. Side pocket. Okay, most of my albums are pretty involved, so I wanted to do a series where they were quick and easy, good, perfect for a beginner crafter, and absolutely perfect for the more for the more advanced crafter perfect for selling guys if you want to turn those albums around quickly you know we could never really put a dollar amount on our time so it's good when we can have an album that we can turn around quickly right so I will link you down below guys so all of the details of the paper and the album look at this paper how gorgeous it's so freaking adorable so many beautiful patterns room for f four by sixes and below how cute these two little pieces here flip that over and then this one opens up like so look at that all of that room for for photos guys so much room look at this how cute super duper adorable look at these embellishments guys so this the embellishments are the closure to this piece right here and of course i didn't do anything there all right so that goes right in there okay look at how cute so adorable. So I'll be back with the final review, guys. I'll show you each of the papers in the collection. I just wanted to share with you how to how I wrap my the spine of my albums and how uh, how I I pretty much encourage you all to try it. I know that it works, and I know that you will be happy with the outcome. All right, this is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time.